evening. Good evening. Okay. Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How, how are you? I'm good, ma'am. Good. Okay. So, where are you from? Like, I'm from um, India. You're from India, but now you're staying in where? I heard it's not India. Huh? Are you staying in India right now or like not out of India? No, no, no. Okay, okay, that's great. Okay, no problem. So you see, I'm going to take the session. Let's not just uh, say you the topic directly. Okay, I want you to guess. Okay? okay, so we'll just start with any of the topics that will be from, obviously, as I am a maths teacher, so it will be related to maths. Okay, so just that. Mm, let us start. So you see, um, mathematics, we have learned from the very childhood, isn't it? Just the moment you started learning something, the first thing, what was the first thing that we learned about mathematics? What was the first thing that you were asked to like? Plus and minus. Plus and minus. Did you directly go to plus and minus? Uh, uh, what do you say, ma'am? Uh, like, did you directly go to plus and minus? Or like, what the plus and minus are to be operated well? Operated between what? Uh. Like, what do you, like the subtraction or the addition, right? Um. So you carry those things, carry the subtraction, carry those additions between what? You add what? Plus, um, numbers? Yes, exactly. So the first thing you learned in mathematics was numbers. After that only you came to plus and minus, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Yes. So now talking about numbers, do you know uh, like how many types of numbers are there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me? Ones. Hundreds, thousands. Those are the number of digits, isn't it? The number of digits a particular number can have. It it goes to what? Infinite. Right? The number. What what is the first number? Like the number starts from uh, one. One. Okay. And it goes to um, Two. Two. Does the number end in two or do you have no. any more numbers? Um, million. You have more than millions. Okay. So basically it goes till infinite. So infinite symbol, it is basically like this, isn't it? Do you know the symbol? Yeah. Yeah. So why do you think that it is, why do you think that, that the uh, infinite symbol is like this. Oh. Can you tell me? It's not maths. It's just simply I'm asking you. <laughs> Do you know? Mm. No, right. Okay. Now you see, can you, in this particular symbol, let me draw a little bigger one. So can you see a starting point? Like from where this line is starting, can you see it? Um, hmm? It is going on or not? It is continuously moving, isn't it? Yeah. It is continuous. There is no end point, isn't yeah. it? So can yeah. you say that it is starting from here, it is ending here? Can you say that? No. Because we cannot see that the line is starting where and it is ending where. We are okay. not able to see it, right? We are not able looking at this infinite symbol. That means what? This path is never ending. Isn't it? Yeah. Yes. That, that's why it is called infinite. Because the numbers are also never ending. It will go till wherever we want to. Isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So, but the terms that you have used... When I have asked you about the numbers, what were those place values you have used? Those are called place values, isn't it? 
yeah. ones, tens, hundred. So those place values, those place values you have, like you know, said me, those place values are of how many types? Like, uh, you have two types of system, right? For writing the numbers. So can you tell me the types of systems? I think you have got this or you did not. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know what are the types of systems? Mm. No. Okay. So you see we have Indian number system and international number system. Okay, so this Indian number system starts from where? Like a simple digit. Till now, I think you have got till 10,000. Yeah. For number system, did you get it? Lakhs, 10 lakhs, did you know? Uh, not yet. Because not life. yet. Yes. So, like till class 4, you people are going to know or you are going to simply study till 10,000. So, it starts from where? We usually count the number from the right side, the back side, isn't it? It starts from ones, tens, hundred, then thousand, and then ten thousand. Right. So similarly, it goes ten thousand, ten thousand, lakhs, ten lakhs, crore, ten crore. I think you have heard of these terms. Crores, ten crores, lakhs. You have heard of these terms, right? Yeah. So, till crore, we usually define the numbers under Indian number system. Understood? So, now, there is a difference between Indian number system and international number system is there. Here, in international number system also, you start from one's place, but you go till billions. Okay. So, in between this, we have tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, then hundred thousand you have, then million you have, ten million you have, hundred million you have, then billions you have, ten billion, hundred billion. So, we will not go for the international number system now. Okay, it is a little complicated, but let's. Now, just focus on the Indian number system, okay? So, Indian number system. So, where does it start from? Just now I have said, it starts from? It starts hmm? from ones. Yes, it starts from ones. So, it has ones. After that, you know this. Tens. Yes, then? And... Um, hundreds hundreds then thousand thousand then ten thousand okay yeah. ten thousand then lakhs then ten lakhs then crore, then 10 crore. So now you see, if I write a number, like suppose 470 here, then 394512. Okay. Yeah. In Indian number system, we put the comma after the thousands place or before the hundreds place, isn't it? So then after every two, two digits, the commas comes, isn't it? So in this way we write. So if you were to pronounce this one, we are simply going to pronounce it 12 crore. So this would be what? This is what? Just this term. In simple term, what did you, like how did you spell this one in words? No, don't, don't have, you don't have to like 
consider the lack. Forget that there is a lack. Just look at these two numbers and tell me what it is. How will you spell these two number? Forty-five. Yes, that means forty-five lakhs. Then these two. Um, thirty-nine. Then thirty-nine. What it will be? Thousand. Hmm. And then this one will be what? Um. Um. Four hundred seventy. Four hundred and. Seventy hundred. Seventy. How is it seventy hundred? Four hundred and seventy, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So four zero three four one nine two. Okay. So now can you tell me where the commas are going to come according to Indian number system? See the commas three digit, then two, then two. So similarly, you have to put the commas here. So tell me. Here after from the back side after three digit the comma is coming. So from in this number from back side where the commas comma is going to come. One hundred ninety two hundred. This one here. Yes. Then after that, where? Thirty four thousand. Yes. So now, can you spell this for me? Before spelling, if you have confusion, try to write it. So this is which value? Two is in place value where? Two place value is. The last digit. Two is the last digit, isn't it? Yes. So it is which place? Hundred. Mm. Last digit is in hundred. No, no. Uh, mm. Tell me. Which place? The road. Mm-hmm. Um, um, forty. Um, forty road. No, no, no. You don't have to say that. I am asking you what is the place value of 2. You have already read that. You know. From the back side, you see. From the back side. So, I am writing the number a little bigger. So, tell me. What is the place value of 2? Two? 2 is what? in which place? Right. One's place. Yes, exactly. Then 9 is in which place? Um, tens. Hmm? Oh, After 1? Huh? Tens place. Yes, tens place. Then 1 is in? 100. Hmm. Then? 1,000. Um, then? Um, 10,000. Hmm. Then? Um, ten, uh, lakh. Lakhs. Then? 10 lakh. 10 lakh. Very good. So now can you spell the whole thing for me? Yeah. Just consider the first two numbers. In that we have to do it. Um, 10 lakh. Mm -hmm. How is it 10 lakh? <sighs> it's not 10 lakh. What is the number here? Oh. <sighs> 40, 40 lakh. Yes. 40 Lakhs. Forty lakhs. Um. Th Thirty-four thousand. Forty lakh. Thirty-four thousand. One hundred and ninety-two hundred. Hmm. How come is it now one hundred and ninety-two hundred? Why do you have to say that hundred at the ending? It's not needed. Forty-four thirty-four thousand one hundred. And 92. Right? Right. Okay. So you see, you said me. Is it clear? Did you understand? So now if I give you a number, will you be able to say me? Hmm? A little bit. 
little bit. Okay, let's try. Three, four, nine, two, three, two. So first you will have to put the commas according to Indian number system. So according to Indian number system, you have to put the commas. So where the commas will be, you tell me. Um, after. Um, after. After. Um, 32. First, after how many digits? 100. Hmm. So where is the 100th place? Um, 232. Ah, so here it will be, isn't it? Yeah. After that? Um, after 45, 49. Before 49, this one, right? Yeah. Yes. So now, name it. 3,000. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's not 3,000. Count it from the back side. It is ones, it is tens, it is hundred, it is thousand, it is ten thousand. And this is? A lakh. Ah, so it will be what? Three lakh and... Uh, three lakhs. Three lakhs and um, 49, then 1,000. 49, 49, 000, then 200. 200. 30, 100. Yes. Again, why it is 100? Why are you taking two, three, 230, 200? Why? 230, 200, you don't need to write. It's 232. 232. That's it. Understood? Yeah. So, all these numbers are called... So, you see, you see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it goes till... Like, let's consider it goes... It is going on, isn't it? So, yeah. all these numbers are called what numbers? Ones. Mm? No, one. there is a, no, no, no. This is a one digit number, isn't it? All till, till nine, it is one digit number. But there is a name for all these numbers or not? Like starting from one and goes till infinity. What is the name of the number? One and two and three and four and five. Yes. They have a name. They are called natural number. Okay. So yeah. natural number starts from 1 and goes till infinite. Understood? Yeah. Now, we also have another number that is 0. Isn't it? 0 is a number or not? Yeah. So you see, natural numbers along with this zero. Okay. Natural numbers starts from one. Okay. Whole number starts from zero, one, two, and goes till infinite. Understood? Yeah. Hmm? So the numbers starting from zero and going till infinity are called whole numbers. Okay? Yeah. And the numbers starting from one and goes till infinity are called natural, what? natural numbers. So natural number starts from um, one and whole number starts from two. Whole number starts from two. Two. Yes, yeah. Sure. I have written also here. Whole number seriously starts from two. Sure. I have written whole number starts from zero. 
I've just now said also whole number starts from zero. Yes, uh, ma'am. I said that before. Did you say it? Zero or two? Did you say? I said two. Two. Okay, then it's correct. I I just I couldn't hear it. Sorry. So natural number starts from one and whole number starts from zero. Okay. Now you see one more new type of number. I'm going to explain you this one you will get when you will go to class five no doubt but let's learn a little bit about it okay a very little bit i will not explain like you know i will not complicate the thing just a little bit so now you see this one two three four five and similarly till infinite these are all positive number do you see a minus sign in front of it do do this number have any minus sign in front of it? No. No. So that's why the numbers which do not have any minus or negative sign in front of it are called positive numbers. Okay. So they are all positive numbers. No doubt they don't have a plus sign in front of it. But if a number doesn't have any sign, that means it is a positive number. Clear? Okay. Yes. So, next is similarly, what is the opposite of positive? Um, plus opposite is? Natural. No, no, no. Addition, opposite of addition is what? Add means what? Addition means what? What we do? Plus. Plus. So, what is the opposite of plus? Minus. Exactly. So, addition opposite is subtraction. So, now, similarly, then positive opposite will be what? Just now I have said the term. Yeah, um. Negative. Addition. Negative. Have you heard of this term before? Uh -huh. Yes, negative. So, positive means plus, negative means minus. Okay. So, you see similarly here, positive number also start from 1, 2 and it goes to infinity. Right. Negative numbers also starts from minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and it goes till minus infinity. Clear? Right. Yeah. So, you see positive number that is starting from 1 and goes till infinity and the negative numbers that is starting from minus 1 and the that is still minus infinity along with the number 0, this all together are called integers. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, positive number starts from? Positive number starts from 1. And goes till? Um, 5. No, no, goes till what? Just now I have said, na, this one. What is the symbol called? Yes, I, uh, ma'am, I can't see that. You cannot see that? Like, the screen is not visible or what? It is visible, but the camera is over here. You have to just, you know, just shift the pin the screen. Um, Mom, I didn't know how to do that. Okay, okay. Are you able to are you able to see the screen now? Yeah. Yes. So what I'm saying is, can you see this symbol? Um which one? Sure. Why are you not able to see the screen? Because the screen is shared. I think you have pinned my camera my camera one like you know that screen you have pinned it that's why i think that is visible and the screen that i'm sharing that is that is coming in a small screen right uh, it is pinned but the cameras are here okay Some, achha, okay Le leave it be so positive just remember what i say huh positive number starts from 
Let me start from one. One and goes till it is going, going and going or not. So it is yes. going till. What is the term I have used? It goes till infinity. Infinite. I have said na infinite. Infinite. Hmm. Yes. So similarly, negative number starts from. The number starts from uh, one. No, no. Just put a minus sign in front of one and say it. Starts from minus one. Minus. And goes till. Goes till what? Positive number starts from 1 and goes till infinite. Negative number starts from minus 1 and goes till um, minus infinite. Minus. Understood? Yeah. Along with that, we have a what? What is the another number? Another number. Zero. Zero, isn't it? Zero. Yeah. So positive number, negative number, zero, all together are called what? Um, infinite. Integers. Infinite. Integers. Yes. So it's a problem for you because you're not able to see the screen. Otherwise, you would have been able to answer me. Okay. Now I get it because I'm I have written everything in the screen. So, okay, no issues, no issues. I You'll can see the lid. I can see the lid, but I can see the um, positive end word. Understood. No, actually, actually, the screen is not pinned. Okay, infinite. Okay, try to remember that word, infinite. Okay? Yes. Uh, then negative number starts from? Negative number starts from um, two. Hmm? Nine. No. Negative number starts from where? First you sit straight. Don't move your chair. Yes. Now listen to me quite nicely. Positive numbers start are starting from 1 and it is going till infinite. Right? Yes. So negative numbers are starting from 1 only. But you just have to simply put a minus sign in front of 1. So we are going to say it minus 1. And it goes till minus infinite. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Understood. Yes, yes. So you see positive number, negative number along with the 0 are called integers. Okay? Yes. So you can represent an integer in a number line. Have you seen your scale? Do you have a scale, right? You use the scale to mark lines and everything? Yes. So you see, those that scale basically gives us all the numbers in the scales are positive or not? Huh? Positive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if it is a small scale, it goes till 15 centimeter. And if it is a big one, it goes till 30 centimeter. Right? So similarly, you have if you, the positive negative numbers. Like if the scale is moving towards from left to right, isn't it? If you hold a scale, you will see towards the left side it is zero. And then when you move towards the right side, keep moving towards your right side, the gradually the positive numbers are coming. Greater number. One by one it is greater, isn't it? Ascending order. Right? Yes. But just if you move to the opposite side, that means if you go from right to left, that is from you are going from 0 towards the right side. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So if you go from 0 towards the left side of the scale, which you will not have in your scale. Right. But starting from 0 towards the left side gives you the negative numbers. Okay. So in this way, you basically read about like negative numbers are usually opposite of the positive numbers. Okay. Just remember that. Opposite of the positive numbers. Okay. 
so did you understand what i said it's a totally new topic you have not read about it before isn't it the integer yes you will not even read this one in the class 4 but i just wanted to like as it a first class i didn't wanted to go with something straight from your syllabus or book i just wanted to do something new for you okay so it is like it's a quite it, it you might think yes it is a little complicated but don't worry you will feel it it's easier it will get easier day by day okay so i will keep the class till here today okay so i hope to see i will hope to see you in the next class so i hope you enjoyed the session shani yeah yes so we'll enjoy a few more classes and yes feel free to ask if you don't understand anything be it be let like you know let it be number of times i really don't mind if you don't understand ask me as many times you want clear yes okay thank you